Good dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting this video, I would like to say something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, then note it and proceed further. And although you have facing any problem or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Now here is the question. A cylinder of mass 5 kg and radius 30 cm is free to rotate about its axis. It receives an angular impulse of 3 kg meter square per second initially followed by a smaller impulse after every 4 second. What is the angular speed of the cylinder after 30 seconds of the initial impulse? The cylinder was at rest initially. This question is based on rotational kinematics. Okay. And here we have given that delta i. Delta i means here L as we know that angular momentum is given i omega. But here change in angular momentum means angular impulse. Here angular impulse is given 3 kilogram meter square per second. So here we have using like that L1 equal to i omega 1, L2 equal to i omega 2. Now L2 minus L1 equal to here I get common omega 2 minus omega 1. So, L2 minus L1 can be written as delta L. I into omega 2 minus omega 1. What is delta L is given? That is 3 kilogram meter square per second. So, substitute this value. And moment of inertia for the cylinder. We have given that the cylinder. And uh, 1 by 2 m r square. That is the uh, moment of inertia of the cylinder. Omega 2 and uh, omega 1. That is initial value that is 0 because it is in rest. So now substitute all this value of mass. What is the given mass? Mass is uh, 5 kilogram. And what is the radius? Radius is 30 centimeter. Convert into meter, that is 30 by 100 and x square and omega 2. So here 3 to the 6 upon 5 and uh, 0, 0 cancel. 3 to the 9 by 100 omega 2. Then it can be written as 6 by 5, 100 by 9 equal to omega 2. Then 5 uh, cancel by 20 times and 3 to the 6, 3 to the 9, then omega 2 equal to 40 by 3. Okay, radian per second. So now we have get the omega 2. Now we have to find out the alpha. Now again, we are using rotational kinetic first equation omega equal to omega, omega 2 equal to omega 1 plus alpha into t. Okay. So here we get 40 by 3 omega 2 initial value 0 plus alpha and what is the time? Initial time here given that 4 second. So here substitute the value of 4. So now alpha equal to 40 by 3, 1 by 4, 4 tens of 4, 4 tens of 40. Then 10 by 3 radian per second square we have get the value of alpha. Okay. Now Next part, this question that is what is the angular speed of the cylinder after 30 second of the initial of the initial impulse. It is very important point. The cylinder was at rest initially. So again, we have using rotational kinematic equation first omega equal to omega naught plus alpha into t. This is first rotational kinematic equations. Okay, here final angular speed initial angular speed plus alpha angular acceleration in time okay but here given that initially object is in rest so therefore we have put zero and what is alpha alpha is given that 10 by 3 radian per second square and uh, what is time is given for 30 second put here the value 30 okay 3 1 the 3 3 10 the 30 then angular velocity that is 100 radian per second. Okay, I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely for your success, all the credit goes to your hard work. But if my video will help for your success, then I will consider myself lucky. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.